hello and welcome to my channel my name's Julie um, I wanted to share with you um, this card here and um, what I used to make it which is the um, um, stamp club from uh, Tommy, to Tommy Tonic um, got Tommy Tangerine on the brain <laughs> um, I do delve in and out of the um, stamp club um, but they they are nice um, oh, do you know I can't remember what I was going to say let's start off with this so this is one of the stamps and I like to um, distress mine before I ink it I've got a quilling tool here Sorry. Usually I've got a pair of glass. Do you know I've moved the glasses? Where are they? Oh, behind there. Oh, anyway, I've got another pair. So I got a quilling tool, and do you know like old-fashioned tape measures? Um, is that the one I use? I think it was. Did I use this side? Gonna end up. I'm gonna end up. Um, that's it. Once you get it, start rolling. They get all creased up, and um, when they're sort of vintage, and you know, I think they used, they didn't used be used to be made out of plastic, did they? There was like a cloth one, a coated clothy one. So it's all rolled up like that, but I like to um, I like to do this. <laughs> I like to screw it up and um, I'll show you the colour ink I've used because I, I didn't want to I didn't want to use um, black on this. I just because it sometimes black can be too dark so I'll just get hold of this is what I do for get that distressed sort of look so and my favourite um, distress oxide tea dye I think I know what I was looking for. Um, something to wipe my glass mat. That's why I've got the mat on today. I might take it away. I was just wondering whether you, because sometimes you get a, a glare from it. Oh yeah, and the ink I've used is this one. I can't see that now. It's um, Metro Grey, the hybrid. Um, from uh, tonic so that's that one it's not so dark as black and then I'll go in with this um, tea dye one and just um, go over it and then all your little creases that you've put in there show up with the ink now I just stamp this out and then cut it out with my little trimmer and these sort of tape measures um, sometimes they used to be like a, um, a greeny colour and I like to do the back as well I know you can't see it on the card, but I still like to, <laughs> just in case you want to, I don't know, roll it up or whatever you want to do with it. I just like to do the back as well. So it, looks, it looks like a piece of tape measure. I suppose if you could get hold of any vintage um, sewing materials, 
you could use those as well but yes I like once you get where's that camera there you can get that quite looking quite vintagey so the other color I like is um, probably got ink is uh, Victorian velvet I'm going to use that one in a minute as well where have I put that and I'll put a piece of um, hook and eye on the bottom of there and I always put my um, on the end of the sorry someone's walking about and I thought it was going to come in <laughs> <laughs> the dog's just got down. Hook an eye on the back of the ink pad and then put your um, blend in, your foam or whatever. I can't even remember what that is now. Your foam on the back of that and it just keeps it where you want it to be. Right, let's just clean that up. Um, I've done this one a bit differently as well because um, I did put a mat and layer behind this one because I thought about it and I thought, oh. I could put a mat and there behind there and the paper what I've used is from my stash but if, you, if you've got one that looks a bit vintagey and with the stamps that are on there because oh this I mean you get a lot of stamps on there you get um, like the scissors there's reels of cotton on there um, buttons on there that you could stamp onto so you could really make a lot with it what else oh yeah there's the pin cushion with pins on it as well down there so i've made two cards of this so far i'll show you the other one i'm just if you let me get a bit of tissue just to wipe that dry that's it just put that up there right so I've cut everything out, I'll use that ink pad in a minute, and that's another piece of pattern paper from another um, collection, but you could find whatever you've got. Now this is a pre-bought 6x6, but they're not, the, um, the cards are not 6x6 are they? They're just short of 6x6 because they make the envelope actually 6x6. Um, so I think, what was it, was it one, four, six, I think this measures, that's five, yeah, one, four, oh, hang on, one, five, six, one, one, four, six to one, four, seven, it's about in between, and this one I've cut it, uh, one, four, four, and then this one I've cut. I've cut at one, four, two. I think. Yeah. So that's one, four, two square, and that one's one, four, four. So it goes on top of there, and it just gives you a nice little glimpse of the gold. And then that go on top of there, and that just gives you a nice little glimpse of the cream. Okay. Now, as you can see on the original card, let's move the stamps out of the way. I got hold of the stamps because you you get the little button stamps, and I did stamp on um, some extra buttons on there, which I might do in a minute. Um, and the other thing I did do. Let me get that thread out of the way that piece oh lordy things have all got because I clumped it up so that this is what I want to explain that base that matte and layered bit one doesn't come with the gap in the middle so I've placed this on here and I drew it so I placed it on where I want it to roughly go give it a nice edge round all the way round drew around the, the detailed die die cut 
and then with a craft knife cut it out it's not too bad a shape the only bit I didn't do was where the little needle is because it's quite fine there and I thought no I'm not going to be able to do that so I left it and it doesn't really matter so you don't need that piece but you can leave it um, how it's supposed to it's up to you really what you want to do uh, what else do we want to do we want to put some so I've cut out two sentiments so I like that one because you get sentiments on those as well you um, you get tailor made just for you um, thanks which I'm going to put on this one and um, and then it's got so much but and I put that on the inside of my card and it's got you are I love you mine cute as, as a button to catch up on so happy we're friends beyond measure all sorts of things to do with like sewing related things but I sort of take on it so let's get um we're, we're distinct these up yeah this is the one I have and um, I'll keep this one on the um, because I I've, I've run out of um, hook and eye tape I'm gonna have to get some more I like to do mine not all over but just round so you just got a um, sort of a white area in the middle I like it so it's just coming around the sides and I stamp them and cut them out we'll do the same with this one just bring it over to where that ink is Just having a look on the screen to make sure you can see. There. Let's put that away. Well, actually, I will need. I will need that out again. A little bit. that ink off of there right um, I think this ribbon is um, two mil wide and on the stamp you've got like a little belt that goes around the dress so I've just cut a little bit and I've put um, some red liner tape on the back hmm okay. oh throwing things at myself now bit grey here today but it hasn't been so cold well no ice on the ground this ice no frost on the ground this morning so I wonder if I haven't got a sore throat I've been shouting at the tennis. Well, shouting and cheering. I'll just tuck. Had to lift that up a bit, wasn't it? Um, put that round there. so that's what I've done for that I think I'm gonna try and stick this onto here now get some glue I 
I don't like sticking it on the back of my hands. Um, oh yeah, I've got like a little piece here. This is ever so fine as well. And um, be careful when you put it through your machines because um, it, oh, I don't, because I put extra shims on my machine. Um, it's stuck to my plate, so yeah, just be careful when you're lifting it off. And sometimes what I do is pop it down on my, on my mat or a table if I ain't got the mat there, pop it down on my mat, just take extra excess glue off. Still managed to get glue on there. There we go. Um, you also get one of these in the die set. You you get I think I think this is cotton, but but um because it, it fits through, you get a needle and you can put this through there so that's what I've done with mine so now we need to start gluing this together let's see um, because I know what I'll do I'll um, stick my card blank there and um, let's stick the gold one on first I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I like it to <laughs> I like it to um, be level all the way round. So don't be surprised if I don't whip it off a bit quick. I've got more down the bottom than I have at the top. Let's have a see. This is what I've done yesterday with the um, pink piece. About three times I laid it on there. We're going to go with that, I think. No, we're not because I should be dropping that down. I will. <laughs> <laughs> right, and now we're going to have that over there like that but before I do that where's my nose? don't take no notice of it look at the state of it look but it's a favourite 
and I like it. <laughs> Tom's I've had these off. Where's my thanks gone? Oh, there it is. I thought, oh no, I've left it somewhere. And... <sighs> right. Let's just see where we're going to... So that's going to go about there. want to um, lay this down roughly these scissors I want to be careful of because there's two, pe um, two bits of die cut in there but I want to leave it like that so I just want to roughly like that I'm just going to take that off for a minute and um, we might put another one there I like this little one as well because it's got um, like a light, a faint lines in it so you can line things up on it I think that's why I, I use it so much I'm going to move that off of there and just go there uh, sort of I don't know, there maybe and then Maybe one there. We'll see how that turns out. I don't want to put too many on. Right. I'm going to be not in putting straight back on the stamp thing without cleaning them. Otherwise, I should lose them. Sorry, that's got that out of the way. Take that off. Bring back this. And we're going to stick this onto here. I'm sure there is lots of card making videos out there. I was saying um, last night to somebody that I used to make cards a lot I used to but I found that the um, three because I love doing 3d work I, I just love it right now I have kept this one quite flat because um, mainly it's postage isn't it I don't know about you but um, sending if you start putting foam pads on then you're going into large letter um, things and even with just a f you'll be surprised then if you're using like really decent cardstock and you know it, the thickness of it it um, it starts mounting up anyway and for a normal letter size it, it doesn't take much for it to go on to a large letter because I've even tried with like really thin foam um, but once you've got your layers on and then your foam yeah so <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm just tight but well, I I do send um, like like Christmas cards, and I did 
um, what was it? Was it just one or two went through um, like the little slit? The rest of them are larger, and and then even if I'm sending, um, if I do like you know, like we all do challenges, don't we? And even if I do one of those, um, it, it's usually a large letter. It comes out to be a large letter. So we're just going to stick that onto there. I think what I'd done before was I just marked where I thought this might go. So I didn't put my glue on where I didn't need it. I think I can remember sort of down here. So it looks like a um, new dress on there. You've made a new dress. Ooh, wouldn't it be lovely? Mind you. <clears throat> of course the material is really expensive as well. And then you've got your time to um, make, make it, haven't you? I'm going to cover that one up. I might put one up there. So now we're going to glue this down. Like I said, I did keep this all flat. I'm going to leave that this bit loose because I want to try and get the um, needle and cotton underneath there. Um, the other thing I want to explain was um about how I went about this and I spent all day yesterday playing with bits of card and pa and paper and because I you, do you remember the old um sewing machines the black and um gold ones because that's what I wanted to do at first and I had a sheet of craft card because I wanted it to be vintage and then I cut out a dress and I started to colour it in. I thought, yep, ready to go with grey um, craft card. So just white, doesn't it, and things like that. So I took, and then I put I put the black onto the craft card, and it just it it just didn't look right. I'm not going to get that up now. So um, I had to, yeah, I, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So you cut out all these pieces and then um, you don't end up with what you, what you thought it was going to be, do you? And then what I do just put a bit of glue on here but not the top bit because pick that up and just thread through there and bring it down there like so Oop, glue on my finger glue on the needle right now this is a bit delicate because I've put those back in but I haven't glued them in yet so I'm, I'm just going to put glue hot glue on when I've done the first one they did stay there they stayed in so I just left them in there but this time they come out Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to be lucky enough to do. I did push them back in, but we'll see. I 
like so. Right. Then I put the fence up there, but I think I'll put um, a bit of tape on there. Or I like I quite like this sentiment as well. That down there is annoying me. I'm going to end up cutting that off. Let's um, find some tape. We're tra we're um, changed the sentiment. I think. Well, foam on a roll. Pokey tool time. This is a mistake. Sometimes it so we're just going to put that. See, oh, that doesn't really matter now because you can see a little bit of it. And I did choo um, choose this paper because it's got like a zigzag, and I thought, oh, that looks a bit like stitching, so that's why I chose that that paper um, yeah you can see that now can't you bring it that way no that way <laughs> there you go right so I'll show you what I mean when um, so that's that one that's that one without the gold and then there's that one with the gold all right but with a different sentiment and then I've just put so much in there so that's those three Ooh. so this is what I need so I wanted the gold on the black and um, I was trying it with I was just laying stuff out really and this is what I do and I think this is what a lot of crafters do I was laying it all the stuff that I'd cut out and the stuff that I was going to do my red dress is in the bin so probably can't find it oh there it is so I'd already started doing that and then I thought no I don't like that it doesn't look right so I knew I wanted to go like vintage so then I got hold of um, the um, tan card so then I got hold of some of that because so I wanted to sort of keep it that sort of colour because I'd already done the tape measure in the brownie in the uh, brownie colour And then I went searching through my stash of papers. So um, I picked up, because this is sort of like vintage style and distressed and it's, yeah, just look, see. I just look, see, I like stuff like, I like stuff like that. So I, I picked up those. Um, and then... I picked up this colour, the tan brown, 
and put the gold on top of there and I thought oh yeah and it's all coming together now and then I cut out the dress out of that pattern of paper threw the red one away in the bin where it's going now I think it maybe have been I've done it too dark maybe if I'd done a, a lighter didn't put so much um, pigment down it would have might have turned out better but yeah just have a play see what colors go with what you want to be doing maybe cut it out a couple of times doesn't really matter you might use it for something else mightn't you and just keep a box of um, spare die cuts you might use it for a different project but that's what I do um, I don't always get it right first time round because um, you have an idea and it's not until you start pulling out different things then it starts coming together well I'm gonna leave it at that and I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye for now.